Uh, please, uh, the song girl told us like uh, we have to throw all this and the and the cola and everything in the blue uh, trash bin. Yeah, trash yeah. Trash. Please, if there is no blue in our in some places, please go there because they were very like uh, not happy. And, and for instance, in the PhD, we don't have blue, so we have to go out and try to find blue. Please, <laughs> otherwise, well, this. In Belgium, the rules for yeah, the rules are yeah. separating the garbage are uh, important. So, cola, 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 cola also in blue, everything blue, yes. blue. So blue in there. The first and uh, the second, maybe, is like a way we will have cloth uh, at six, yeah, axis. So, uh, it's very <laughs> delicious. Traditional, yeah, yeah. traditional from Uzbekistan and very motivation for, for us to stay. In, <laughs> uh, okay, now we continue with Professor Virginia Kijakova. Uh, this is the last two uh, lecture. So the first one is about uh, a guide to a special function of fractional calculus. Okay, thank you. Uh, first, uh, to tell you to be down that I will show you many formulas for many special functions. But uh, uh, you don't be afraid because I will try to give you ideas about if you met such functions, uh, so you know that they were studied or introduced by some authors related to fractional calculus. Most of them are used in uh, fractional order models like solutions, but some few are just inventions with some more indices where people introduced to study properties and maybe by now not used uh, as solutions, but maybe some time. Okay. So there is a big uh, variety of such functions and I'll try to collect at least uh, some of them uh, starting from the point, the idea, so you know, one of the first uh, basic, at least for me, book on special functions that expired to start relating integral transform and fractional calculus with special functions was the so called Bateman Erde handbook. This is the uh, hydrocidental functions in three volumes. But the first volume is much more important. Uh, well, it uh, contains the so-called G-function of Maher that I concentrate on it. The second volume is uh, more basal types, spherical functions, and so on. And in third volume, uh, accidentally, the metac leffler function appeared maybe for the first time in such early uh, handbook, but just in some chapter at the end with uh, short information. 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 Okay. And there were also two other volumes of this Batman the collection. These are uh, integral transforms, both first and second volume, where you can find Riemann-Liouville images of elementary special functions aside from other integral transforms. Uh, well, uh, you know the first uh, so-called classical special functions, they appeared a uh, long time ago in previous centuries uh, due to the need of applied uh, scientists uh, and uh, engineers and uh, pure mathematicians to present uh, explicitly the solutions of uh, some integer or later fractional order equations and systems related to physics, uh, to control theory, to some other events. Uh, and uh, when they speak about uh, special functions, uh, usually what I call classical special functions are these that are also known as uh, special functions of mathematical physics. 
because they appear mostly in uh, models uh, in physics and mathematical physics, or also are no, known as named special functions because they are named after uh, some well-known authors that introduced it or studied them for the first time, like Bessel, Bessel functions, Euler functions, Beta and Gamma, uh, Gauss function, Tricomer function, Whittaker function, and so on, bearing the names of some uh, known mathematicians or applied scientists. So these are the classical special functions, I say. But uh, when fractional calculus uh, was developed and started to be applied to some problems, not only to be like some theory, then the mm, period uh, important to be the so-called special functions of fractional calculus because uh, their period, you see many examples of this, uh, their period is in the solutions of uh, fractional order equations, models, and so on. Uh, of course, the classical special functions are part of this, but the, the classical special functions are usually solutions of integer order equations, and mostly of second order equations of mathematical physics. Uh, while the, these more, or spe uh, more or peculiar special functions, uh, fractional calculus, they appear already in fractional order models, and not always uh, the classical functions can cover this. Uh, so, I mentioned um, about the so called Bateman project. Uh, well, in the, his last years, Professor Harry Bateman uh, worked on his very ambitious project. Uh, he planned to call it Guide to the Functions. Just functions, uh, they, uh, he meant uh, so called mathematical functions, even in Wolfram. Uh, the block, the site is on mathematical functions. They mean special functions. Uh, he uh, was uh, ambitious to collect all uh, known uh, information on sp such uh, special functions known by the moment with their properties, their integral representations, uh, uh, the most detailed that were scattered in some um, different literature, but he wanted to collect in one uh, place to be easy to uh, be used by pure mathematicians, applied sciences, and so on. So he collected all this to a great amount of so called, they now say, shoe boxes, some boxes with catalogs on the functions he planned to uh, put to, inside uh, this um, project, a series of volumes of books, book, and to, to call it Guide to the Functions. Uh, after his death, um, the collected stuff, which was uh, too much uh, as stuff was uh, edited and uh, promoted by Erdey uh, with the assistance of uh, Magnus Oberhettinger Tricomi, and they edited and published it as the mentioned uh, handbooks, High Accidental Function by Magnus Hill in the years 15. Uh, 1953-1955, the three volumes, and also the next vol two volumes on tables of integral transforms by same publisher. Uh, so the title Bateman uh, planned to use as guide to functions or guide to mathematical functions was inspiring me to modify it as in the survey paper published uh, 
in last year in mathematics, which is open access, and also is a title of this talk. Yes, a guide, but a guide to the special functions of fractional calculus. And it is the cover page of this uh, publication. It was devoted also to the memory of uh, Richard Tusky, who died in the autumn of uh, 2021, when, was the, when the paper was in preparation and also to um, make uh, honor to the Bateman projects on higher transcendental functions. Uh, and some basic references as of course these volumes of Bateman Erde volumes. Uh, my two survey papers, this one I showed and one more which is related to the next lecture, Unified Approach to Fractional Calculus Images of Special Functions. And of course, of my early papers, uh, some of the stuff uh, was in the book, and in some later publications in 2010, 2012, and so on and so on, by, by now, by recent one. Uh, yet in the Bateman project, there was a historical note taken from Bateman notes that of all integrals which contain gamma functions, you, you remember that gamma function was uh, very important in, when dealing with fractional calculus operators, also with special functions uh, for their definitions. Uh, the most important are these uh, call it uh, million Bernoulli's type integrals. Such integrals were first introduced or at least promoted by Salvatore Pincerle and uh, Mainardi and maybe some collaborators had a nice survey paper on the uh, title was about role of uh, Pincerle to introduce, to emphasize about million Bernoulli's type uh, integrals, special functions. So it was in, yet in 1888. Uh, then Melin, there is it now on Melin transforms and images of special functions by Melin transform, developed further the theory that now, and because also Burns dealt with this, they are called now as Melin Burns type integrals, they are defined by means of contour type integrals in complex domain, uh, but usually the contour you see can be different types, but they are um, including many parameters in the general case, and for all these parameters you need to have uh, conditions when the integrals, uh, that is the functions, make sense with correct definitions. So the most uh, general one, uh, there are yet more general, but the others are too artificial in my uh, opinion. So the important most general such function is the Fox H function, uh, which is represented by such uh, million Bernoulli's type integral, you see here contour L, and the uh, integrand here have this structure. You see it is depending on four uh, groups of products of gamma functions, with all of them with uh, in the, uh, parameters B small B capital, A small A capital, uh, and uh, uh, the products of M items, N items, P and Q, so M, M, P, Q are called orders of the H function. And practically this integrand is the, of course, the million transform of the H function. And well, to, to have a good precise definition, uh, many authors studied uh, in details the conditions on the contours, on the parameters, 
Uh, the order say M M P Q. You see, should be integers of this kind. Uh, the capital A and B are positive parameters, while the small a and b are such uh, that uh, the poles of uh, the gamma functions in the denominator uh, uh, could be separated, will not coincide each other, it can be separated by the contour from one side to be the poles of one group of gamma functions, and on the other side, here is the contour, and uh, these the points are the poles of the uh, gamma functions. So now these details can be found in almost all uh, contemporary uh, handbooks on special functions. After Bateman day for the G function, then uh, main source is uh, Trudniko Britkov Marichev, um, this, uh, the third volume about more special functions with many details. Then uh, Cubas and Tsai who published separate book on H functions. And then it followed many, many other next books where always uh, people give at least uh, short information on H and the G functions. Uh, here you see, uh, to fix the details, the conditions, you need to consider some uh, quantities like depending on the parameters and on the orders. And usually, uh, hash function is an analytic function in the complex plane, either in the circle domain or either outside the circle domain. Uh, or in angles, uh, parts of such circle domains, and have singularity, singularities, and the uh, origin in infinity, and on the circle of um, this, uh, disks, where rho is uh, the radius of uh, convergence. Well, a uh, little simpler, uh, same structure, but uh, if all capital uh, parameters A and B that were associated with S in the definition are uh, one or are uh, integer numbers, uh, then we have the so-called Maj G function from 1936, his papers, to 1941. Uh, Nederland mathematician, uh, and it is the same but little simplest conditions you see. Then the radius of the um, disk where the function is analytic uh, is one, in the, especially in the cases when I consider this, uh, and uh, outside this disk has zero and have a singular point that uh, the circle where uh, radius is one. And uh, in many books, especially I put in my appendix, uh, all elementary functions and the non classical special functions appear to be cases of the Marge functions. Uh, well, because Marge functions are associated with integer uh, order equations as solutions, so they encompass all these classical special functions with, of course, some conditions. Uh, so, uh, but uh, most uh, uh, often use, uh, used uh, special functions of fractional calculus are uh, cases of H functions. These are the so-called generalized hypergeometric functions of right uh, P, Psi, Q. Uh, you see, defined by means of power series. Again, the gamma functions of A and B parameters uh, having important role in the definition, 
but these are seen to be also edge functions. And uh, when this quantity delta is greater than minus one, uh, the p psi uh, q function is an entire function of the complex variable. Uh, for the other cases, a singular case is when delta is minus one, the, this series in convergent in a T only with radius rho and for some other conditions in angle domain. Uh, most popular, uh, similar to these functions, are the PF functions, which are uh, like the classical special functions in general case. Uh, you see this when the capital A and P are 1, O, then we have the P, PF cofunction, well known, and this is also G function of Mar. And uh, for P less or equal to Q, uh, all these PF cofunctions are entire functions, uh, well uh, uh, define it uh, for all complex uh, um, variables Z, but uh, like the Gauss function in special case, if P is equal to Q plus 1, then uh, we have our only convergence in the unit disk. Uh, the example is with the Gauss function when P is 2 and Q is 1, the 2F1 function, the Gauss function, it is well defined in the unit disk, but the Euler integral formula can be used to, for analytical continuation of the Gauss function outside the unit disk. Uh, most specific and uh, uh, popular function of fractional calculus is the so-called queen function of fractional calculus as was titled by Minardi and Borenbo in their survey papers in 90 years. Uh, so, what is this? You see the Metaclefler function. Uh, usually, the, uh, first uh, it was uh, defined by one parameter, alpha, which is the most important, with alpha positive, but uh, usually uh, the two parameter Metaclefler function are used where beta uh, can be positive, but it is shown that it can be also some real number under some conditions. As you see, Metaclefler function is just fractional extension of the exponential functions and of the trigonometric functions. If you take alpha 1 and beta 0, you have here k factorial, which is the definition of the exponential function. Uh, for alpha equal to 2, and again beta 0, we have the cosine function and variations of sine, cosine functions, uh, the hyperbolic trigonometric functions. So for alpha equal to 1 and 2, uh, the examples are the exponential function the cosine function and other trigonometric functions that are well known to be solutions of first order and second order differential equations of integer order, I mean. Uh, well, the typical Metaclefler functions, when alpha is fractional, not one, two, and so on, uh, for example, is the so-called alpha exponential Robotnov function uh, with alpha alpha parameters and it is a solution of this simple uh, fractional order differential equation for the alpha. Uh, then in many papers, then it works after that, uh, Tamarkin and some other authors represented the solutions of Riemann-Liouville fractional integrals 
like this one. Uh, Riemann Liouville integral equations like this in the form uh, with uh, this Rebotnov Metaklecher function. And also for more general uh, differential equations of fractional order like this, uh, if we take uh, Riemann Liouville derivative. The solution, the general solution, is written in this form in many books, like in some Kokyo Basmarijev. And if the uh, derivative is taken in Caputo sense, similar problem has a solution of similar form, but with other coefficients and other metaclear functions, but uh, almost same structure. Uh, uh, some additional information to compare for the Taclefer functions is that they were not very popular in the first books on special functions because um, people who <coughs> needed to apply this uh, missed the Laplace uh, transformations of the Taclefer function. But you can uh, find out, say, even in the book of Podlubny, that that lecture type function, even if we take arbitrary derivative and uh, with multiply, uh, in the Laplace transform has this form. And then you can interpret with using operational calculus and some similar methods uh, how this uh, Rational functions can be interpreted as images of Metaclecher functions. Uh, despite of the two parameter Metaclecher function, uh, then later it was considered also three parameter Metaclecher function, alpha, beta, and additional parameter gamma. It is known also as Prabhakar function. You see, uh, here you have this additional Pohammer symbol depending on the third parameter gamma. And to compare with uh, in Laplace transform images for the simple Prabhakar function, the Laplace transform is given in this way here. You see the role of the gamma parameter. Especially when gamma is one, we have the two parameter Metaclefler function. And also if beta is one, is the one parameter Metaclefler function. But uh, we can see that all this Metaclefler type, uh, Metaclefler or Metaclefler type functions are uh, right generalized Carpe geometric functions, P, Psi, Q in this case with p and q equal to 1, and of course then also uh, special cases of the Fox H functions. Uh, another useful generalization of the Metaclefler function was introduced in words by Gorem Flo, Cubas and Trugosin in 1998. They considered this as a solution of Abel Volterra fractional order integral equation, uh, you see the definition. Again, is a power series, but the coefficient ck have this form of products of uh, quotients and gamma functions. And it was shown recently in many papers that these functions play a role of solutions of fractional differential equations, say, multi-term. Uh, fractional or the differential equations. Uh, other functions that can be related directly to the Metaclefer function uh, is a uh, not so popular extension, uh, other so called Lurois functions, extended Lurois functions. You see uh, what is the maybe exhausted. Uh, this F alpha beta function, there is the gamma function in the denominator, but 
to power guilt aware guilt is somewhere very say fractional positive number. If delta is one, we have the two parameter metal letter function. If delta is some integer, uh, you see it will be case of the so-called not index metal letter function that I can see that in next slides. But for uh, the Leroy himself introduced this for alpha equal to one and beta equal to zero, so in the denominator was only k factorial to some fractional lot. And uh, many papers appeared just in the recent years by Gerhold, Gara, Rogozin, Mainardi, Garappa, Pogani, Tomos, Tomuski, and so on. They studied this kind of extended Lurua functions about the symptotics, definitions, uh, examples, Mm, integral representations and some applications to fractional order problems. Say uh, in viscoelasticity, but also Kolokolcov used recently it uh, in studying stochastics model in fractional calculus. They ask, uh, he asked what is about such kind of function and um, explained to him that it is a kind of neuro function. Well, uh, I proceed to uh, the so-called not in the function that occupied a great deal of my recent research. Uh, in, it was inspired by Jeribashan works, we see later special cases. Uh, and what we do instead of uh, alpha and beta, uh, the usual two parameters of the classical Metacle-Effler function, we have set of alphas and set of beta parameters of uh, all uh, their number is m. m is some um, greater or equal to one integer number, the order. And the multi index Metacle-Effler functions are then defined by this series, where if you have only the first gamma function with one alpha and beta, it is the classical beta function. But we have different alpha and betas, and we have m gamma functions here. So then instead of one C1 uh, right function, these are one Cm right generalized hypergeometric functions and of course H functions of this form. And later my colleague Pane Vakonovsky extended yet more these uh, multi index functions, uh, introduced uh, for the like for the Prabhakar function, uh, the third parameter gamma she replaced also by set of two different gamma parameters. And then we have here the definition of this so-called 3M multi-index metacleffler type functions. And their study goes similarly for the, this uh, one and also for the practical functions, not a special case. Well, for gamma equal, all gamma equal to one, we have my case. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, initially I uh, introduced it considering the multi index metacleffler functions only when alphas are positive. Like in metacleffler function, the basic parameter alpha to be positive. But in the way it works, after 2006, uh, uh, Kilbus, Rogozin, and Koroleva had some publication and they extended the definition correctly for these functions also for alphas that can be different, uh, arbitrary real numbers different by zero, so not only positive one. Or real number uh, parts of this not necessary to be positive. Uh, another kind of multi-index 
with our Kleffler functions uh, are also introduced even before my works by Uchko with some co-authors after 1995. But the difference is, you see, uh, he has uh, many variables, this multivariable function. Uh, alphas are again different, but the parameter beta is only one. So <laughs> it is, uh, and uh, the definition is uh, here, the important is that these coefficients are a little bit rather complicated, so-called multinomial coefficients. And these functions are recently very often used uh, by authors when they uh, present solutions of multi-term fractional order differential equations. Uh, so the basic theory I was developed with my, some of my early and recent papers. Of course, when you have this, you should find uh, the conditions and if these are entire functions, like the Mitoff-Lefter functions, these are entire functions uh, for the row. But sorry, I kept here and all the denotation following Jirebashan. Uh, the Bashan help use it uh, to introduce uh, the functions with parameters mu1, mu2, uh, but uh, in this notation we should put more general rho i mu i, but we need to have in mind y is one of alpha i in mu i a bit of y. So in this formula 11, uh, we should have in mind uh, this. Uh, so the, the order of these entire functions is written in equation 11. And we have a symptotic estimate when the variable z is going to infinity. Uh, the simple estimate is of this kind. Uh, what is important to, to mention about this multi-index metacleptor functions that they appear as eigenfunctions of the Gale von Leontief operators of generalized differentiation integrations I meant in the lecture one. Uh, that is the multi-index metacleptor function, uh, this is a solution of such equation, differential equation, which is a fractional multi-order. A multi-order one over i1, one over uh, 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 alpha two, and so on. And these are the, um, particularly generalized fractional derivative in the sense I can consider it in the first lecture. Uh, so, other properties, uh, many properties can be uh, given for these functions. For example, uh, the Millin transform, uh, as the function is defined by Millin Burns type uh, uh, integral, is an H function. Uh, then the Millin transform of multi index metacleflin function have uh, this structure. Then also there is a known uh, formula for Laplace transform of the so called conventional classical right function phi and its relation to the metacleflin function. And we extend this formula for in our case uh, that the multi index Metacleffler function is Laplace transform of this uh, right function that generalizes the, the classical right function. And in particular, zero CM uh, for. Um, or alpha uh, integers uh, reduced to functions of the form uh, 
0fm, uh, which are the hyperbasal functions of the euro, the solutions of uh, integer order uh, differential equations of order m. For the classical uh, special functions, there ex uh, exist some integral representations that also can be used as uh, definitions. For example, well known is the Poisson integral formula uh, that represents the Bessel function in uh, equation 14 is a fractional order integral of the cosine function. And sometimes uh, this formula can be used to define the Bessel functions, yes. But uh, in our case, we extended these formulas for the hyper Bessel functions and more generally even for the multi-index Metaclefler functions that these are generalized fractional integrals of cosine function but of order m. We we'll see later what is this. This is a solution of m for the differential equation with the classical initial conditions. Uh, so we have Poisson type uh, formula for multi-index Metaclefler function and uh, especially for uh, particular cases of alpha, if all alpha one and beta of the form k over m, we have uh, some specific cases. For example, you know that the Bessel function of uh, with index minus one half is uh, a cosine, the cosine function. And uh, similarly, for more general indices of the order, so-called semi-integer indices uh, of uh, the form integer number n uh, minus one half, all this they call uh, semi-integer indices, are uh, for the so-called spherical vessel type functions. And uh, spherical vessel type functions and uh, the um, integer order differentiations of cosine function. Uh, so we have extension of these representations for the multi-index Metaclefler function. If we take uh, the all alphas again to be one, but uh, the parameters beta to be integers numbers minus k over m, we call this semi-integer multi and there appear mm. multi-index metaclefler functions similar to the spherical vessel functions. That are represented by uh, as, uh, mm, trigonometric functions of how. And uh, to have an idea about the special cases of multi, first of the mm, metaclefler function, the classical one, uh, you know that if alpha is arbitrary, beta is 1, we have the geometric series. It's the simplest example. For alpha and beta equal to 1, we have the exponential functions. For alpha equal to 2, we have variations of trigonometric functions. Also, we have the um, error functions, the incomplete gamma functions, and some other functions as cases of the classical Metaclefler function. Also the so-called Miller-Ross function uh, is a case of this and the Robotnov function. Uh, then we can uh, extend uh, the list of these uh, cases of Metaclefler functions, uh, the classical Metaclefler function, say with the mentioned cosine function uh, for the m is uh, in question 16, uh, as I mentioned, when m is 2 is the classical cosine function. Uh, and it is the solution of equation f derivative uh, equal to minus the function with this uh, special initial conditions. The solution is this function cosine of order m. 
And uh, for other initial conditions, variation of them, we have the, the, the other trigonometric functions of all them, like uh, K and H below. Also, in some works, uh, Plotnikov and Zeitlin considered a fractional uh, order versions of these generalized trigonometric functions. For example, you see here this uh, fractional sine and fractional cosine function, which are classical metaclear functions, of course, in very special cases. And Luchkoy Srivastava also then in the book of Podlovny presented some next generalizations of the uh, sine and cosine functions of fractional, with fractional parameters, like uh, these two on the slide. Uh, uh, in some other time, there were popular the so-called Lorenzo Hartley functions. Most of them are presented in some preprints, if you like, uh, write Lorenzo Hartley uh, of, uh, yes, about 2000. Uh, these are the uh, so-called, they denote by R or by F in this way. You see that the A function of Lorenz Hartley is practically the Robotnov function with equal two parameters Q and Q, and the other the R function is with such two parameters. Again, the Taklefer function in the classical case. So, it is uh, interesting questions. What about multi-index cases? What if they put some important special cases that give reasons to consider this. For, well, for M equal to 2, it was my motivation to start with multi index metaclassic functions. It was a paper in 1960 by Mr. Bashan that was published only in Russian. So, most of Western mathematicians could not follow it. And it was remained unpopular. Uh, so he defined it with uh, uh, somewhat different denotation initially, not by E, but by uh, Phi in 17. And instead of alpha and betas, uh, he used the rho and mu. So in a previous equation, I forgot to change. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, you see the Hart-Jerbashan function is with two gamma functions in the denominator, and so we, uh, he had a set of two by two parameters, um, totally four parameters, two for alphas and two for beta, so like uh, denoted there, rho and mu. And he used to he uh, proved that it is an entire function and use it is to develop theory of integral transform in L2 spaces and uh, to use also as approximations of uh, entire function in L2. Uh, also, he showed few of the particular cases he knew then of these functions. Uh, for example, uh, of course, the classical metaclefer function appear, also the Bessel function, the geometric series, uh, and uh, uh, further when I have concentrated to study this case, uh, it was observed that the Struve and Lumel functions, the Bessel type functions, are also cases of uh, the Jiribashan functions. That is uh, functions with two by two parameters. Uh, there is so called classical right function that was studied uh, by Fox and Wright. Uh, and most simple case that uh, 
this peep psycho function of light. Uh, it is a psi function with p0 and q1, and evidently is again multi index metaclefren functions in the case of 2 by 2 parameters. So, but this function is very often used in uh, works on fractional calculus and fractional calculus models. For example, Nick Matulian uh, in his early paper used is in the case when alpha is between 0 and 1 uh, to describe diffusion process in media with fractal geometry. Well, Minardi considered the case when alpha is between 1 and 2, the next interval, and uh, he used this for propagation of mechanical diffusion, diffusive uh, waves in viscoelastic media. Uh, and because he used very often a special kind of uh, this function, the right function, put me in some other next papers, the people denoted by M, uh, to make contribution to Minardi and say this is the Minardi function. So Minardi function when you meet is a case of the classical right function with uh, some special parameters. Uh, but I, I, I talked to Minardi that it includes also uh, other special cases. For example, the Airy function which is very popular also in the class of Bessel type function, is a case of the Minardi function. Uh, when speaking about right, classical right function, it uh, has also alternative name as bessel michelin function, generalized Bessel function. Uh, uh, why? Because the names uh, Sir uh, right, uh, Maitland Wright, Maitland was uh, the part of the name of Wright. <laughs> uh, so people call it this special Maitland function. It is the same kind, but the, nota the notation is uh, here different. But it is again C function of uh, P equal to 0 and Q equal to 1. And again, a metac leffler function with 2 by 2 parameters is part of the Bashan function. Uh, well, I go to the other special cases when m can be arbitrary uh, integer number. Well, when all rho e uh, infinities, that is alpha is a zero, uh, then we have again the geometric series. Uh, but we can take also if all rho, uh, that is alpha, is an integer or equal to one, it is simple function that uh, not uh, is a PF function with P equal to one, and uh, Q equal to M, simple one, that reduces to minus function. And uh, for a uh, special choice of uh, the new parameters in this denotation, we have the hyper Bessel functions, we have the extensions of the Bessel function for many indices. But uh, as solutions of uh, integer or the differential equations. Uh, uh, when I, maybe I should remind that the hyperbasal functions, uh, sorry for this question mark there, uh, are related to the hyperbasal differential equations uh, of m order, integer m order, and uh, I presented all the solutions of hyper differential equations in terms of these hyper equations, especially for this Cauchy um, problem. hyper operator, and you have these classical conditions, 
we have the so-called normalized hyperbasal function is the solution. Uh, well, some other authors, even recently, continue to consider particular cases of the hyperbasal function, ignoring maybe not knowing the theory of the hyperbasal operators and functions. So, for example, in works of Ricci and the Tolly, especially recent work by Emilio Ricci, he considers the so-called Laguerre derivatives. You see here it is composition of two derivatives uh, by Z in, in the middle. Evidently, this is, an, and there iterates, he considered called uh, as uh, iterated Laguerre derivatives, but these are only special cases of the general hyperbasal operators. Uh, even this case, uh, they consider as DML, uh, these are the operators considered by Ditkin and Prudnikov in 1963 in operational calculus for particular cases of hyperbasal operators. Uh, so, uh, then Ricci and the Tolly also consider the eigenfunctions of these iterated operators and they denote by EM. You see it is a generalized hypergeometric functions of this form and evidently these are very special cases of the hyperbasal functions. Uh, I, I try to attract attention to these authors that should have in mind the earlier works on hyperbasal operators. Well, we can consider multi-index analogs of the Rabutnov function, then we will be uh, in this form when gamma function is to some power m, when m is integer. Uh, and uh, for alpha equal to 1, we have the original Leroy function with uh, chi factorial to power n in the denominator. Uh, well, for when all alphas are 1 or integer, all these functions are reduced to marriage functions and to some classical special functions as cases. Uh, and it was also considered uh, another pa triple uh, m parametric Metacleffer type functions by Kilbus, Rivastava, and Trujillo in the form as below. So many variations of multi index Metacleffer function have been really studied and used as solutions of fractional order, fractional multi order equations. Uh, aside from the multi index Metacleffer function, uh, I deserve to mention some other cases of the generalized right uh, functions that uh, people consider it as new or studied them, but not uh, concentrated that the theory of the right uh, function. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just, just to finish this slide, yes. So you see here. Uh, Again, uh, Virchenko and Ricci considered some functions. You see here the so-called error function by Virchenko, but it is a uh, uh, right function to C by 1. And Ricci considered this uh, function, so-called L-type Gauss hypergeometric functions, you see here. Again, these are cases of the PF Q plus 1 function. So, well, and then we continue the next part with a uh, few other examples by Maynard de Massina in Paris. So we started and continue about the uh, topic of next lecture that is closely related. So, thank you. <laughs>
open access every paper. Uh, that I mentioned so people can follow uh, and make some exercises that I will um, attract attention in the next uh, part of the talk that you can sit down as homework and try to reproduce <laughs> details. Sure. Yes, thank you. Sure. And maybe I have one question. Do you know if there is one special function that uh, This is not the yes. Yes. No, 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 no,